Welcome to this video tutorial on how to export a 3D model from Rhino into Blender. This building I've modelled directly in Rhino and within this process we'll also be able to retain the materials we're adding to our 3D models. Now for this model I've actually added a series of materials we can see here and these are based upon the layers that I have in the model. If we look in the rendered view the concrete material has also been texture mapped now, it's quite useful to add in even just block colour materials to your building models when doing this export process because once we bring it into Blender, we'll then be able to sort out the model via its materials which will allow for easy editing once we bring it into that software. So to export the model, we're just going to select the geometry we want to export, go to File, Export Selected here, and we're going to export as an OBJ file type. Uh, and we'll just call this model. Once you pick your file type and pick your name, hit save and it will come up with a series of export options we have here. Now we want to make sure we're exporting it as a polygon mesh object because that's the sort of native format that Blender uses. For formatting I don't usually change any of these, keep these all as default and for naming we're going to make sure we're selecting as OBJ objects here because this will mean each object will import as an individual object into Blender. We can keep the layers as OBJ groups but I found this doesn't really group anything when we bring it into Blender as you'll see in the next step. Under mesh I usually keep all of these settings by default. We don't usually need to change these to make sure our model exports correctly. So once we've done that we hit OK and then for mesh options I usually just take it off from the bottom and just put it in here. You don't need too many polygons but you don't want too few that it starts to sort of simplify your meshes too much. So around this value usually does well. Hit OK there and it will export your model out as an OBJ. We're now going to open up Blender here and this is just the sort of default objects we have when opening Blender. Our cube, our light, our camera. We're going to go to File, Import, and import as an OBJ format. Select the model we have and you'll see there's also a material file there that will be brought in automatically when we bring in our OBJ. We don't need to tick any options here and we'll just click import OBJ. And here you can see my model is now imported there. Now you can see that the materials are intact, we've got all of those still on and if we go to the material setting in Blender it will have made a new material based upon the ones I had in Rhino. So this is quite useful for keeping your materials transferred from file to file. You'll see, even if I put it on rendered view, that the texture mapping on this is also retained here on this object. So very useful if you've set up all your textures in Rhino and then want to bring this into Blender to render in this case. Now, as you can see, when we brought this in, it actually brings them in as lots of individual objects, and I've now got kind of hundreds of objects from this file. In order to tidy this up, we can actually select the objects by material type. So if we select on one object, hit Shift L on the keyboard, and then select material here, it will select all the objects by their material. I can then right click on that object and go move to collection, create a new collection, and we'll call this walls. Okay, what this would do is if we sort of scroll down here, it would now have made a walls collection folder in my scene collection at the top right hand corner. And we can turn that on and off, and that will be all my walls contained. So you want to go through that process, selecting an object, hitting Shift L to select the material, and then add to collection just by right clicking and making a new collection. And what I'll usually do is just quickly create this for each of those objects just to tidy up my file type here and make it kind of easy to work with moving forward that way like so. So that was just a quick video tutorial on how to bring in an object from Rhino into Blender. I hope you found this useful and now we brought it into Blender we can use this object to animate it within Blender, to render it within the software as well. So really good one to get into if you're modeling in Rhino but want sort of the increased animation tools that are on, on offer within Blender. Thank you for watching this video and if you want to watch any other videos on rendering material creation in Rhino and other software, please check out the videos on the channel.